My name's Andrew. I run the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm not liking the light branch off my glasses. Maybe I can turn my angle. I can't. Um, I run the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. Um, it's a channel dedicated to money and mental health. Uh, I'm a part-time eBay reseller and a mental health advocate. Um, that's pretty much me. Today's video is a live um, charity shop haul. Um, basically, um, I went out. I was intending to go to a couple. Hey, Scooby Shaggy. I was intending to go to a couple of charity shops, and uh, yeah, I mean, I certainly achieved that. I have got bags full of stuff. Uh, there was a half price sale on one of the charity shops, and for some reason, other resellers don't seem to have been there um, because they had loads of stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought I was going to do like a, a video. Um, of me going around the charity shops and picking this stuff up but there's too much stuff for me to actually fit into a, a video it would be like an hour long just showing a haul off or something ridiculous so i figured i may as well go live forget about doing the pre-recorded stuff and we'll go through the haul we'll have a bit of a chat It'll be my first live of today because i'll also be live later for drinking with andrew with my good friends from america and australia as always but that'll be um that'll be about a lot later Hi, KFC reselling. I've not seen you around for a while. How are you? Um, so, yeah, um, I've got loads. Hey, Glitter Sunflower. Um, loads and loads of stuff. Um, to give you an idea, um, there's bags full, absolute bags full of stuff here on the bed. Um, and, yeah, I've had to come on the bed to put it here because my house is literally full of stuff. Like, that's... That, that, that's what I, I have to face at the minute. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Danny, I'm good, thanks. How are you, mate? Hey, Eric. Hey, Billy. Hey, Nutty Pro Seller. Um, so, yeah, I've got masses and masses of stuff. Um, absolute masses. Um, I just got to um, drop a link to say I'm uh, live now to the uh, people of the um, reselling community. Um, because I told everyone I was going to be live at um, 6 p.m. And, uh, yeah, I failed to do that. Hi, Rebecca. How are you? Um, so let's just see if we can find Mr. Money Mental UK's YouTube stream. Um, ah, what would be really good is if they could just have a button that I could press where I could just go, like, live on the side. I, I'm, I am late. I'm just going to announce that I'm live now to the Facebook, to the Money Mental Reselling Community Facebook group, um, which I haven't had a chance to be in today. Uh, to do, oh, I've got loads of messages and notifications I haven't read. Uh, anyway, I'm live on the tube of you with a massive charity shop haul right now come join me there we go Let's drop a link um oh i've sold some can only see half my head oh hang on is that better uh stupid uh, internet hey richard how are you uh yeah aids there yes thank you aid uh hi catherine yeah, nearly a thousand. It's amazing. All those victims. Um, right. Why won't this type? Stupid internet. There we go. Oh, it's full of typos. Uh, to do, I'll wait for the Facebook to catch up with the fact that I'm trying to type into it. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Carrie Ann. My two favorite ladies are here. Hey, Martina, another one of my favorite ladies, and Catherine, many of my favorite ladies are here now. Is this thing still plugged in? Because I look like I'm not live. Oh, that's because I'm not. That's because I've put myself on uh, pause. Right. My admin, not your admin. To do. Let me. There we go. Right. Come on, promo, 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 promo. There it is. It's done. Okay, so yeah, massive haul. 
Hi, Adrian. Of course you are, Catherine. That's that's like, yeah, there's bags and bags. So I'm going to start just in the order that I pick stuff up in, because otherwise I've no idea how to do it. Oh, this video quality is not great, is it? Hang on a second. I'm in a different part of the house. Um, I'm where I sleep at the minute, which country to popular opinion is not the, the one room I normally film, film from. Um, so uh, I uh, haven't, um, what was I going to say? I haven't uh, got the best internet connection. He's not one of my admins. He's, he's a spanner on here, but he's not an admin for me. So yeah, um, first charity shop I picked up. We have got, we'll do the usual, we'll do guess the price. So this is going to take hours. Um, we are going to be here all day. We have got the Dario Argento collection. Apparently these are some Italian opera horror things on DVD. Cost me three quid. What do we reckon this is going to be worth? A spanner or a wrench? We have to call it a wrench for our American audience. Yes, yes, lab media. And I've got some media. So, yeah, we've got Dario Argento. Um, feel free. Oh, thank you for the people who've given likes already. 18 dollars 12 dollars Move house and business to start unit. Move 120 miles. I uh, have got um, a new unit that I'm hopefully moving to next week. So the chat will be out of the house soon. Um, I'm not on StreamYard. That's why I can't screen share. We got 15. Is that you that moved house then, KFC? Uh, where are we? Um, what am I looking for? Share screen. Yes, you can have my audio too. Share. There we go. Right. We're right now on the screen share. Fetch up the eBay. To do, do. Dario Argento collection let's see what he's worth as always i've done little or no research um it's not the galileo collection but that's all like not um souls anyway what have we got on souls to do uh it's not inferno hello is inferno in here and Inferno is not in here, which is a shame because that looks like an expensive DVD. Uh, okay. We're not really seeing. So I've got the Stendral Syndrome in this and that other DVD that's mentioned. That's Suspira. They're both in here and that's gone for 11 quid, but I've got more uh, than just that. So... Uh, Whoa, there's loads of stuff here. Uh, none of which is what I've got. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look on Terapeak. Terapeak. It's encouraging, though, that just two of the DVDs is worth 11 quid. Um, let's go around the chat. Hi, Jane, how are you? Nobody wants to see me knit. Read the ISBN on that media. Uh, uh, Five zero six zero zero two zero six two five seven nine four. Um, any chance you've got Howard Duck on DVD? I haven't. Well, I might have. I'm not aware that I've got it, Martina. Um, I have got a couple hundred DVDs that are unsorted, but they're in my shipping container at the back. You can search Therapy and eBay now. How how does that happen? How do I do that? Um, I didn't know you could do that. Tell me, tell me after. Don't don't tell me when I'm live because I'll get confused and, and mess it up. Um, right. What's, come on, Terapeak, load. Terapeak is moving to the seller hub. Uh it's uh, giving me a message. So let's try that and see. Terapeak product research. Nice. That's good. Um, eBay.co.uk. Last 365 days. Dario Argento collection. D 
DVD set. Uh, yeah, average price fifteen seventy eight. But uh, ooh, could that be what I've got there? It's gone for fourteen fifty four. Oh, that's gone. But well, that's gone for fourteen fifty four, and that looks like yeah, that is what I've got. Um, that's gone at auction for twelve quid. Don't forget the postage on there, and right, which is the same thing I've got. Yeah, so it looks like it's at least fourteen nine, thirteen nineteen there. Uh, Three pound fifty. Don't even know why that that's that price. I'm gonna say. It's at least fourteen ninety nine. So for three quid, that's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, Dario Argento, three fourteen ninety nine. Let's see who won the uh, the prize there, the mentalist point. Um, all right, let's catch up. It's very handy. Research tab there. Um, how far behind am I? I don't know who he is. Um, 15 well done rebecca rebecca you get a mentalist point oh don't worry Lindsay. there's a hell of a lot of clothing uh yeah very busy and stressful bless you um 120 miles is a big yeah go on you're not moving into my patch are you because you, you can't come to north wales um so yeah don't forget about dvd uh i like that yeah i could search by the number but nobody seems to put them in um hi ian um at least that 1899 put off is on yeah maybe um what i tend to do when i list it is go higher to start off with but i'll put the realistic price in my spreadsheet uh then next we have got the wire complete series i have checked through this all of this actually have i checked through this yes i have checked through this all of this are here uh again this was three quid um basically there were three pounds for all the box sets so yeah the wire complete series what do we reckon let's take your guess while i fill out the spreadsheet the wire three pound quick flip for five pound or seven at the cx nice waiting for the clothing on there there is a lot of clothing uh 1999 reckons danny um to do well you're all guessing how much the wire is worth i'll put the screen share on oh, i've got 39 people watching this is immense hi everyone who's watching uh sorry if i've not said hello to you that's a lot of people uh the wire complete box set dvd yes i have got some ladies clothes this is some if you follow my instagram uh, I'm Monumental UK on Instagram. You will see some stuff that oh, I've had 13 quid sale through. Excellent. Uh, oh, my mum's text me. Uh, remind me tomorrow and I will come. Um, mother doesn't um, understand me being live on the internet. No, only this, only when I'm doing. Um, live research like i am now eric do i bother putting on the spreadsheet normally if i'm not doing it for youtube it doesn't go on a spreadsheet uh really recently i bought a man's dax oh yes nice yeah i've heard dax is good um obviously no one else is in the the uh, running for greatest clothing reseller but uh, i am Lindsay has fo is following us now what do you mean um uh right anyways so yeah the wire like where's the guesses we've only had danny at 1999 we need more guesses at the uh, at, look hiya hiya lenny we need more guesses on the wire um will i research it uh to do so the wire complete dvd box set search mm -hmm. Whoa, loads are sold. Ooh, I'm going to get some money from QME, so you'll have to bear with me. £14.99, £24.99, £22. Yes, I put 50 plus shipping. Nice. 
got in there. Hey, Deep Fried Deals, how are you? Um, Deep Fried Deals was with us last night. Um, right. And I may as well get another 4P from Cumi. It's more than any advertising revenue that I'd get if I actually got to 1,000 subscribers, which might happen. Get your friends and family to subscribe because, uh, you know, I I could do with the money. Um, I'll do a highest price search on this because 264 results and we'll filter on used. Um, we'll put buy it now on first off because I can see some auctions there. Oh, I can't filter unused on this, can I? Because it just has condition. Um, but UK only on. Right. That's all new. New, 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 new other second hand. So it's fourteen ninety nine plus shipping there. Um, fourteen ninety five plus shipping, seventeen ninety. So I'll probably say. 1799 1699 there i'd say 1799 um for that one boring media um there isn't a lot of media that i bought to be honest um but yeah got that um then we'll switch to clothing um because i got some clothing in this place there's rebecca um do. so no one got a mentalist point there um i'll put that in did i see uh gary v join us as well go jazz hey gary um yeah so next three pounds on uh, peter ray was here he'd be very happy i've got a chelsea football club shirt which i really was hoping peter ray would be here for because he could tell me what year it was um but he's um, having his dinner at the minute. Um, it's an Adidas official Chelsea football shirt. It costs three quid. Hey, Jill, how are you? Uh, hey, say away. Um, it costs uh, three quid. Um, it's going to be worth at least 15, possibly 20. Um, I have no idea. I mean, I could type in Adidas Chel Ch Ch uh, Chelsea shirt into um, the 2008 Champions League final, is it? Okay, let's give it a try. Um, bear me a second. Uh, to do, we'll get the screen share on. Well, okay, my hamsters. Oh, that is a shame. They need, they need YouTube accounts. Um, 2008, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Um, we'll pop it in, 2008. And, and did they get the Champions League final that year as well, did they? Um, Chelsea shirt 2008 yeah it's looking good um to do yeah i'm not extra large i'm not that size um let me just put medium in Okay, okay, all right. Well, they're 15 plus postage. Yeah, 15 quid. Yeah, so I about right there on that. Um, I'll probably go for 17.99 on it with offers. Thank you for that, Chelsea 2008 shirt. And we will put Champions League final in as keywords as well. Free. We're well, 17.99 on that awesome uh right back to the stream yard um to do remove from screen as i've just spotted red trim uh yes there is some red trim um i've got a rough year to aim for anyway so i'm, I'm happy enough with that size medium is a uh, mancury seller um the label and say when it's made it doesn't normally on football shirts uh not the adidas ones anyway um i'll just have a look on the care label but, but um mm -hmm. yeah no no 
Oh, oh, two ten. Could that be it? Is that what you mean? Um, sail away. So it could be a 2010 shirt, not sail away. Sorry, Thailand Heron. Um, let's just have a quick look then. Let's put 2010 in. Do, do. Yeah, I might have been thinking of the Nike ones. Um, because I've got a Nike one listed at the minute that took me a while to work out. Um, yeah, red trim, that's it. 2010 to 2011, 18.99 plus shipping. Oh, that's all right, we'll go 19.99 on it then. Um, happy enough with that. Let's see, 2009 shirt, 2010 shirt. Three. 1999 there you go thank you talent heron you have as always been brilliant um have i still got let's take the screen share on yeah i got it i got it for you now uh uh did do you get any sleep um yeah i think i got to sleep about four o'clock this morning and then I was up about 10 a.m. Um, yeah, football shirts do well. Um, next, it was free DVDs for a pound. And normally I don't bother, but I've got my PayPal working capital to pay off now. So I figured I'll list a few. And it's Christmas coming up, so I'll list a few stocking fillers on there. Um, we've got a Harry Potter DVD. Probably not going to be worth a huge amount, but I've got some of the harry potter dvds that will get bundled with um in fact i'll probably go for the complete set and then it will be worth something um they're all 33 ph dvds sarah milliken um chatterbox live brand new and sealed it's probably not going to be worth a huge amount but we'll have a quick look what do we reckon sarah milliken live is worth um actually we could have a look at harry potter and the goblet of fire because it is the two disc edition Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire first off. To do two disc, not point three three. Um, to do to do to do, do, do. We're going three ninety nine, are we? No worries. I'll probably still be live, Lindsay. Um, right. To do. Harry Potter, Goblet, Fire, Two, which is a two disc edition. Um, have I got screen share on. I don't know how to alt tab on this yet. Have... Fire, DVD. No results. Okay, so nobody's actually put two disc in the title. Okay. Have I spelled this wrong? Why are you not oh, I've spelled Potter wrong. Oh, for God's sake. To uh, do. To do. To do. That's a PC. Uh, that's not the same edition. That's Blu ray. That's 425 brand new. 399 brand new. That's Blu ray. Still a little bit of money in the Blu rays. That's 349 brand new. Brand new, brand new, pre owned 125 plus £4.25 postage. £1.25 postage, okay. £3.17 US import. Um, £3.15, £3. Brand new. £3.299. Uh, you ain't going to be worth a huge amount of money, are you? Two, that's UND. £2.88. Yeah, price is all over the place. Um, but like, see how they bundled it there? That's what I do with the Harry Potters. I'll bundle it up and get a few quid for it. I normally pay about 10p for Harry Potter DVDs. So I'll do a little bundle, but we're probably at about 2 49 on it otherwise. Um, so not massive money. Um, right, let's get back to the chat. 
Yeah, I always buy another Harry Potter. Exactly, I'd be up at 2 a.m. Uh, 1.99, Sarah, 2.49. Not much, I bought it off you. Ah, yes. Is that one of the DVDs I sold you? 66, three point. Nah, bundle him. I always bundle the Harry Potters, and the bundled Harry Potters do well at Christmas. Only reason I put them up. Um, yeah, exactly the same here, Glock. Bundle up all the Harry Potters, get the complete series, bung them on. Um, you know, I usually get them for 10p each. I just grab that one to make up the three for a pound bundle, um, and you'll get decent money. Up at 2 a.m. Good Lord. Okay, right. So look up Sarah Milliken yet. Yeah, next. Hi, Marie. How are you? Uh, right. So Sarah Milliken. Shadowbox. DVD is. Two ninety nine, brand new. Um, awesome. I don't think it'd be worth much. Uh, I'll put thirty three two ninety nine. So that'll be a massive fifth p off me. Pick a cup of capital. Then we've got Clarkson pre revved up or Clarkson powered up on DVD, which I it's brand new and sealed. But I didn't actually buy it because it's brand new and sealed. Um, I bundle. The Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, Top Gear DVDs together at Christmas. And I sell them on in bundles for about 15 quid. And I usually do all right doing that. But this one's actually new and sealed. So um, it may have value. It probably won't. Um, it'll probably, hey, Lainey, how are you? It'll, how are you, Will? How are you? Um, nobody's going to troll me. Um, I'm good, thanks. Hey, Becca, how are you? One pound a DVD, Jesus. Um I normally pay about 10p a DVD, um, but I was filming, so I picked up some. Um, so, yeah, I think that this may have some value in it. It probably won't. It'll probably still go in one of my uh, Top Gear bundles, but we'll have a look. Clarkson, Powered Up DVD. I might ask the chat what we reckon it's worth. DVDs are hardly ever worth anything. Uh, well, it's gone for 39 pre-owned. And 169 brand new and two pound seven pre-owned and that's all, that's on Blu-ray. Um, God knows how you got 439 for it. Um, so it might be worth listing it new. Let's just take it off solds. Don't know what that is. So he's asking 10.49 there. Yeah, that's too much. They're all Blu-ray. That's just seven quid. Sit there. Uh, that's Blu-ray. Um, do you know it might be worth listing this for four ninety-nine and just trying it? I'm just going to list it for four ninety-nine and try it and see what happens. Uh, next, Jason Isaacs, brand new and sealed. Um, I suspect this is worth nothing, but we shall give it a shot and see. Um, there ain't too many DVDs, don't worry. Um, Jason Isaacs DVD. Did I put Sarah Milliken down? Did you? Oh, is he like an actor as well? This could be bad. Oh, is there another title on this? No, there is not. Uh, it's a music DVD. And Jason Isaacs is an actor, so I've got absolutely no chance of, of finding this unless I scan it in. Um, so I'll put that to one side and scan it in later. Well, I cannot be asked. Um, 300, brand new and sealed. Again, probably not worth um, a huge amount, but we'll have a quick look. Um, 
to do a 300 DVD. God. Um, Solds. Uh, why have you given me a dinghy for God's sake? In DVD category as well. Uh, let's get past all the steel books. Let's see, I'll just go most recent. Uh, end date recent first. Two seventy nine. Um, which means I can push for two ninety nine. Yeah, two ninety nine pre owned there. Um. So God knows who's paying that much for it because it's 99p pre-owned there. 180 brand new. I'm probably going to go 299 brand new on it. Uh, yeah, stuff it. I'll go for 299. Right, what's going on in the chat? Do. Yeah, it's a spreadsheet, Jill. It's it's. I don't. I only use it when I'm doing uh, live research, because it saves me the effort of going in and researching stuff again. Um, not your mark, got one brother. Um, I'm quite happy to take a uh, hundred percent or above markup on anything hey paula Ann, how are you um media flips quick sometimes you need quick flips judge deeds season two brand new and sealed um and sometimes you just need to keep churning things out as well so yeah judge d john d series two brand new and sealed um i think this has probably got some value in it because this isn't on netflix um so I think there'll probably be a bit of money in this. Is it season two or series two? It's series two or in the UK. Um, by the way, you get the complete set of Judge Dundee DVDs. It's worth 35 quid. So worth looking out there for. Uh, yeah, £5.85 on Music Magpie. Brand new. So I'll probably list mine for 5 75 which will pay for all of the DVDs, basically. Uh, let's do. Uh, next. Did I put that on screen share? I did not put that on screen share. Sorry, folks. That's Judge John Deed. They're £5.85 from Music Magpie. If um, we go back... The complete season, season pre-owned has gone for 35 quid there. So look out for Judge John D, John D DVDs. As I say, you, you can only get it on DVD at the minute, as far as I'm aware. Something like this um, is 83p to ship. Um, it's under 100 grams normally, large letter, 83p. Um, so, yeah, um, definitely not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I, you, you need to, to weigh the stuff because uh, £1.70 is two, over 250 grams. It's over a quarter of a kilo. Um, between 100 grams and 250 grams is £1.32. Um, from memory um next this is probably worthless but it's 125th anniversary everton's premier league goals brand new and sealed no we've got loads of tv channels over here gluck um but um yeah we've got i don't know dozens and hundreds maybe at the moment i might oh nice Gold necklace, cool. Maybe add Harry Potter. It's not that Jason Isaacs. It's not the actor. This is a, it's a, it's a, it's a singer. 
uh, to Wakama. It's not, it's not the actor. That's why I gave up looking for it. Um, yeah, I think definitely need to um, to look at um, weighing this stuff there, Ron. Um, get a decent pair of scales. It'll save you so much money. Um, I weigh my stuff now before I send it out, and I've also changed to the um, super light jiffy bags and it's you know it's saving me a lot of money in terms of postage costs um one two five hundred and twenty fifth anniversary of yeah most dvds under 100 grams 125 everton fa premier league goals um it's brand new and sealed but it's probably worthless but i should say some of this stuff if it isn't worth anything I'll be giving it as gifts um because it'll save me actually buying gifts of people but this has gone for 395 that's okay so i'll probably list that for 390 399 so there we go job done on that uh next yeah we're not on screen share again i keep forgetting that uh, yeah, so that's the, that's the uh, DVD there, three ninety five, thirty three p. I'm I'll, I'll take that because it takes seconds to list. Yeah, one pound thirty two up to two hundred fifty grams, eighty three p up to hundred grams. Um, to do. Yeah, most DVDs under hundred grams get scales, weigh them. Um. Next. Muppet Christmas Carol on DVD. Guess what? Christmas is around the corner. So um, I'm going to be picking up Disney Christmas DVDs like this. Didn't even know Disney owned the Muppets until I grabbed this. But I'll have a look. Pre-owned. See if it's worth anything. Uh, new and sealed, 349 Music Magpie are doing it for 250 there. I'm not the highest price. Um to do uh where are we 399 so yeah happy enough with that um because that that won't go down at the minute we was getting into q4 that's about the mark um to do i use kitchen stales to race smaller parcel no problem with those daniel not always the most accurate things um i've got a proper parcel scale set up which are as accurate and sometimes more accurate than the post office ones as we've had a debate in the post office before um well worth it there's free shipping standard in the uk it is for media pretty much um people do um but you might have seen people do add in postage costs but business sellers and media i think pretty much 99 percent of us will be doing free shipping on it the other categories like clothing etc not everyone does it i do free shipping pretty much across the board um myself just because um that's just my business model but i know lots of other people charge for postage uh phantom the opera brand new and sealed um good hey mick how are you Going cold turkey, stopping painkillers and depression pills. I thought you'd been quiet. Um, I hope your recovery is going well, then, Mick. That's uh, uh, a tough move to make. That um, right. Fan oh, we three more pieces of media left. Um, do Phantom of the Opera DVD new. Um, it's not on Blu-ray. It's not any of the classic ones. There, it, well, that was it. Four disc. This isn't four disc, is it? Is it? This one, two, two. That was two disc edition. Um, I will just put new on the search. There we go. There's definitely some that are worth looking out for there. On Blu-ray, it's still got value on it. Um, to do, to do, uh, 625 plus postage. Um, that's not the same edition, I don't think. 
uh, let's get down the page a bit 5.99 to this dvd box set 16th of september so yeah i'm happy enough with that from 33p Five ninety nine, excellent. And then next, we have another sealed DVD. Um, hey DBG, how are you? Best felt a long while. Good stuff, Mick. Uh, hey VV, sorry, I have better things to how dare you. Uh, to do. Oh, 50 watching now. Um, yep, so we've got uh, Praro, the feature length collection, ITV DVD box set. So again, I don't think this is on ITV player. So um, it was 33p. There's got to be value in it. It's brand new and sealed. It's Praro. It's going to do well at Christmas, I think. Um, Praro, I think, is on at Christmas. So yeah, um, let's have a look. uh prior row feature what was say it was collection whoo so that's pre-owned 598 um have i spelled prior all right p o i r o t so it's 598 pre-owned um in july brand new people are asking 15 quid for it um i don't think it's 15 quid i might go 9.99 on it uh, which is okay from 33p given that it's gone for a five a second hand i think 9.99 is a fair price to do back to the stream yard Hey, Chen. Oh, it'd be great if you did a, a live. I would definitely watch that. I've got a shed load of clothing, Jen, so do hang around. Um, I've only just going through the uh, the media I bought. Yeah, I bought loads of clothes. Look, let me show you. For those who don't know, I haven't seen all these bags here, including my feet there, uh, all these bags here full of clothing. I'm just going through the uh, media hall first. Uh, this won't go large letter, no this will go as small parcel so the 9.99 won't be as much profit um it'll be 2.90 for that to do oh by the way folks if people haven't subscribed to jen jen reseller um just a low in the chat there new to the youtube it's the first video of the week it was very good um hit the three dots next to her name and click on subscribe um a brand new and sealed harry potter dvd this won't be bundled this will just be listed um because it's christmas again so i'm picking up brand new and sealed harry potters uh, because they will fly out um and this will fly out in christmas believe me harry potter flies out at christmas um uh, but yeah pretty much any harry potter stuff flies out at christmas um it won't be massive money but it'll be enough to make the 33p investment worthwhile um, i'm sure hi Stu. getting drunk with andrews later uh, oh it's star vader um fuck it's uh, vader at christmas time um it was literally the first t-shirt on my uh clean t-shirt pile and i'm actually probably too fat for it enjoyed it jenna sub there you go I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be live for getting drunk with Andrew later, probably about 9, 10 o'clock, something like that. Um, right, where are we? So, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, brand new and sealed. I'm going to guess it's $3.99. Um, or I'll be listing it for $3.99 probably anyway. Christmas around the corner, but we'll just have a look. Um sold listings uh dvd to the 
Ultra HD stuff has got money in it, by the way. Um, didn't know that. That is the two disc one with the slip cover. I haven't got a slip cover. Um, what's 4.99 plus postage? I don't think I've got a 2016 edition. Um, I have got the two disc set from 2009, which is going 3.99 plus postage there. Uh, that's gone for 4.99. 4.99 um so yeah i'll probably aim for 4.99 on that then um because yeah that's the addition i've got so that's cool harry potter uh half blood prince uh not point thirty three. uh 4.99 Oh, I didn't do screen share. Sorry, folks. Screen share. Um, keep forgetting to do that. I apologize. Yeah. We can see there a few brand new and sealed. That's the edition I've got just there in the middle with the nine product ratings. Gone for four ninety nine dollars uh, last month. So that's what I'll aim for with my copy. And then the final DVD, you'll be glad to hear before we move on to other more exciting things is um a dvd that aid bought off me i believe i believe i sold you a copy of this the very best of father ted this is brand new and sealed uh dvds tend to sell quite quite um hi stuart um dvds tend to sell <laughs> you're better looking at andrew dvds tend to um sell fairly quickly um media as a whole tends to sell fairly quickly unless it's on a format that not many people have it got a price competitively because there's huge competition in the media um space but it in my experience it doesn't hang about for long um very best of father ted brand new and sealed on dvd do do i think it was now i the last five times and above yeah part time as well but um my strategy uh is my increase so is based on um is based on um easiness to ship as well so with this stuff straight in a jiffy bag goes out is a trying to learn the irish accent god knows where are we uh oh matt's there hey matt um I'll watch this while the other half is watching strictly as far as i'm concerned ballroom is just a measure of how comfortable your underpants are i fully agree so father ted is um i i don't know dbg will tell you who father ted is um no car boots here all rained off to do anyway so very best of father ted dvd um 4.99 yeah 4.99 and there's some that one down there that i've sold to aid for last but yeah 4.99 i figured it would be about that so those dvds are okay the other thing with dvds um it's simply scanning list especially with the new ones um no need to take the pictures to use the eBay stock pictures. People are well used to it. Um, right. Yeah, it depends on the DVDs, but if you're selling um, low value ones like that, then yeah, 30 to 40. Still haven't watched Father Ted's tube. Right. Who wants to see some clothing? this is what you're all here for isn't it um let me see what i've got oh grab the bag there that isn't actually from today's haul so we'll move that out of the way right so i grabbed that stuff and then um i thought i'll go to another charity shop but it was closed so i decided to carry on to the town of Clangotham in uh, north wales and i picked up three blazers there 
I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because these are massive. Um, we have here a, this is like, these are too big for me and I'm six foot four tall. Focus, focus on me, focus. That's better. And um, look at the size of that beast. It's big. Um, and big is good in clothing when it comes to men. Um, this is a Marks and Spencer's, I don't know how you say it, Colazoni or Colazwan, Colazion, Colazion I'm going to go with, um, blazer with um, the Nova Fides cotton. Um, it costs £7.50. Apparently it's woven by the sun, whatever that means. Um, but it's, uh, I'm trying to remember the size on this, is, yeah, 48 long. Hey, Louise, you've arrived just in time for the clothing. I've just gone through a shed load of media. Um, and now I've got, yeah, see, Jen's here. Um, I trained today with Jacksonville College Baller. Good Lord. I only ever sold two DVDs. Um, so, yeah, we've got the Mark Spencer's Colazzani blazer. Cost £7.50. Stu... Uh, not Stu, Steve Green reliably informs me that you can get at least 25 quid for a Colors Zion blazer um, and possibly more for the larger sizes. We'll have a look. Let's test whether he's, uh, I, well, I know he's right because I've seen his sales, but um, let's see what it's worth. They're on a blazer, 48, long, giant person's blazer, yeah. Oh, that's brand new, brand new, brand new. Pre-owned, but that's linen and silk, uh, yeah, linen. See so 20 quid plus postage. Um, so yeah, I think the 24.99 mark is probably about right on that. Uh, I might push it a bit higher and go for 27.99 with offers uh, and see where we end up. Um, so we got that, and then we got. Um, uh, uh, a brand that I'm always on the lookout for. Um, let's just take the screen share off. To do. Hey Peter, I, hey Peter, you'll like what I got here. Um, we turn it around. Look at that, Peter. I was thinking of you when I picked this up for three quid. Nice Chelsea football shirt there. Um, to do. No, oh, it's a catch up. My first big sale was a used anime Blu ray, cost £2, and she's under 50. Nice one. Um, to do. Oh, there you go, Jill. There's watched your uh, YouTube video there, Double Karma. Um, to do. Everyone say hello to each other. Burn it. Uh, right, next. This is a brand I'm always looking out for. Oh, I'm going to have to get forward again because this is even bigger. This is, this is a size 50. I reckon the same dude donated his blazer collection. It's this big blazer here. Uh, the brand on this is Joe Brown's. Um, so we can get that in. Uh, Joe Brown's blazer, size 50. Um, it's the Debonair Dapper Gents, apparently. Paid 10 quid for that, but there's got to be money in a Joe Brown's blazer in that size, hasn't there? There's got to be. Um, my phone's going off like uh, mad. Um, I don't even know where it is. We'll look for that in a minute. 49 99 do you reckon, Ian? Um, let's have a look. Joe Brown's blazer. 
50. Uh, okay, that's no good. Then let's take the 50 out. Uh, uh, hang on. I'm going to have to go on men's, and I. Uh, how do I get men's clothing? There we go. My highest price. Uh, that's gone for 50 quid, but that's tweed. That's got, oh, here we go. This is like the one I've got, but in a smaller size. Oh, it's got a waistcoat as well. Not quite right then. Uh, so that's not as good as the one I've got. It's gone for 38 quid. Um, so I'm probably, that's deadly dapier in size, which is what I've got. Uh, new without tags, allegedly. But it's in a smaller size. I'm probably going to aim for forty nine ninety nine on this, you know, because um, just seeing that those ones have gone for sort of thirty eight odd quid, but they're in a smaller size. This one's massive. I'm going to aim for forty nine ninety nine. Uh, we've best off from. And anything over 35 I'll be happy with. Uh, what's going on here? 34.99, you reckon? Uh, do you, can you repeat what I said? I can't remember what I said. I think I said somebody subscribed to you, thought your video was good. Um, mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Here's, here he is, self-promoting again. I'll be going live sometime Wednesday night at 8.50 for the live listing with guests. That'll probably mean you're live with me again, doesn't it, Peter? Where the hell is that phone? Because it's annoying me by going off. There it is. Um, I've sold something on eBay. That's why it's going off. And I've got a message. Oh, hang on. Uh, I can't get his game working. I'll come back to him and give him some advice on that. Um, right, okay. Um, question. How much you spend? Over 100 quid. Um, yeah, well over 100 quid. Can't say the total, but yeah, lots. Um, then next, oh, another... Marks and Spencer's Collars Collazione Blazer. Um, this one cost a tenner for some reason. Let's see if we can get that out. It's it's a massive one again. It's a forty-eight long. As I said, I think these all came from the same chap. Hi, Jenny. How are you? A message from Joe Brown wants his jacket back. Um. Oh, it's a silk and linen blazer. So this is a silk and linen one. So uh, it's probably going to go on for twenty nine ninety nine, I think. Uh, given it it's silk and linen. Um, if I'm a tenner, that's okay. Uh, I'll just put that it's silk in there. We, we've already looked up the blazers in that size, so we don't need to look them up again. Tenner, $29.99. So, yeah, boom. Money's coming in. Seen a few near misses on Facebook. Looking forward to it, though. Uh, any nice welcome people that are on? I'm nice. Um, uh, talking about Petey Blinders. Right. So, that was that bag. Um We'll go for the Sue Rider bag next if I can find it. Bear with me, folks. Ah. 
Here we go. Um, right. So from Sea Rider, we bought. Some Jacques Wirt, Jacques Wirt, the French designer, uh, shoes. Um, these were size, um, our size, oh God, where is it? Thirty-seven and a half. I've no idea what that is. Anyway, they're in a size of some description. Um, it was hammering down. Uh, what's going on in the chat? I can't think so. Nice. Does that qualify? Fair enough. Um, ten. Five pound fifty. You need to get in the clothing. Mind you, hundred pound back from five pound fifty, I'd be happy with that, Stu. Um, I'm not I'll be sleeping. Um, oh, boots. Yeah, they're off. Good soul. I don't know. Is that a good soul? It's got a bit of dirt on it, but I think it's all right. I think it'll do. Don't know. No idea. Um, probably needs a bit of a clean. I'm not trying it on. To do. Yes, Jack Virt is saturated, but I'm not stupid. I am the world's best clothing seller ever. And one thing that I know about clothing, as Jack Virt, is if you buy the shoes, you've got to have. The matching clutch bag. Look at that. Look at how good I am. As Jacques Furt. Um, let's see if I can get this up. I found the matching bag. £7.50 as well. So 15 quid for the two. So together, because it's the shoes and the clutch bag, we're looking at 49 99 Because I'm that good a clothing seller. They had loads of Jacques Furt shoes in there. And they had some Jack Furtz bags, but they only had the one matching set. So that's what all I, all I picked up. I know what I'm doing. I'm not an idiot. Um, not too bad. Yeah, no, I, I, know, I know what I'm looking at. Seven and a half, four and a half. Okay. Um, yes, Jen. So, yeah, those two are going together. So clothing knowledge on this channel. 50 quid for the pair. I know what I'm doing. I locked it up in the shop. I'm not an idiot. As soon as I was looking at ladies' shoes, I was like, I'm locking this up. And I noticed that the high price stuff was going, that the higher price stuff that was selling all had the matching bag. So that's what I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I did get some funny looks. I'm not wearing no clutch bag. Um, and then the other thing I got, which I do know about, in Sue Rider was um back on my safe ground men's clothing um uh, a pringle um vintage pringle jumper um it's part of the faldo range so nick faldo was a uh, golfer um paid a fiver for it and i should get 24.99 for that i can't be bothered looking it up at the minute because i've already researched that in the shop um so yeah nice little pringle genuine uh, vintage piece there. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of ties, Mick, because nobody so you sent me those ties, Mick, and nobody has actually completed a challenge yet. So I've not been able to give them to anyone. Um so they're still sat there waiting for somebody to complete a challenge. Uh so I was pretty happy with myself after buying the Jacks first. 
shoes and clutch flag and the Nick Faldo thing. And I thought, I'll try one more charity shop. Uh, so back in Wrexham, by the way, when I, when I picked those up, um, I was back in Wrexham. I was already happy enough with me hall from the day, but I picked up a few. But I, got, I just popped into the Sioux Rider and I thought, oh, I'll just go around the corner. I didn't have long left. I had about half an hour left. I'll go around the corner to um, uh, shelter. And as I got to shelter, there was a sign on the door saying, half price, uh, everything, everything, half price. Well, that was it. I was straight in there. But the PayPal card was out, and I must have bought half the shop because most of what I've got left now is from there. I did go, go to one more charity shop that closed a few minutes afterwards. But, yeah, obviously, I went straight for the media first off. And just grabbed a load of Xbox original games. Um, we have Mortal Kombat, something Monks, Shaolin Monks, Shaolin Monks. I don't know what it says. Yes, I'm a legend. Um, do there you go. See, I'm an expert. Uh, to do try to take a pit, terrible. No, yes, uh, to do that's all oh, forty pound. No, did you put your ties? on a shirt to photograph no she did not do that did you not watch a video where she's photographing them don't you want to listen to this and go into diff different things though 50 50 after cost i can't do splits like that mick the tax man doesn't understand it unfortunately um it don't work well with the uh, bucks uh more combat uh Shea Olin Monks. I've no idea if it's worth any money, but it cost me a quid. Um to do let's have a look. So clothing sellers, you can drink your cups of tea while we go through the last few items of media, and then you can come back uh for more clothes. Uh, Mortal Kombat, Shale and Monks, Xbox. Uh, ooh, 17.99. Mm, 11.99 plus postage. I might put it on for 14.99 then. Um, happy enough with that. Mortal Kombat, Xbox. I'll pay for that. A quid. I'll go 14.99 on that. Job done. Then next, oh, the case is broken on it. I have got a replacement kit. No, it's not broken. I don't think this is worth anything. And this was £1.25, The Sims on um, Xbox. Um, rather than photographed in that way. There you go. You see, that's, that's what I thought. Uh, yes, I am deep fried deals. Once I've got through the, um, the hole, I'm going to take a bit of a break. A uh, bit chill out time. And then I'm going to come back live for a drinking with Andrew session later, which will be not, which will just be me and a few of the resellers live on the TBU. Mm. Um, not sure what time yet. Um, it's 28 at the minute, so probably another hour or two. Um, right. So, yeah, The Sims. Um, I'm pretty sure it isn't worth a huge amount, but we'll have a look. Uh, to do to do yeah I'm using my power only asking two quid two quid two seventy nine two ninety five probably push a bit higher three ninety five 
yeah, it's probably a three ninety nine game, I think. Oh, fine. You can't win everything. Um one pound twenty five into three ninety nine. I'll still list it, sell it, or I might wait until I get another Sims game. And I think this one's probably not really worth anything either. Um tempted to join in my webcam is crap. Uh yeah, I'll be on later. Um got the Italian job, LA Heist on Xbox. Again, this is one pound twenty five. Oh, it's a shipping cost on media. You have media mail here. It's still $2.75. Um, for us, under 100 grams is 83 pence, which I think is about 50 cents, maybe. Um, so most DVDs go for that. Um, games, £1.32, which is probably, um, probably about 90 cents, maybe 95 cents. So not huge amounts. Uh, I don't think Andrew has a limit. What does Andrew not have a limit to? Oh, hey, Mark. I didn't go there today. Um, I didn't go there today. Um, I was going to, so you've had all the tap there, Mark. Um, but yeah, I didn't go there. Um, you missed the half price sale in the shelter though, so I spent hundreds there. Um, they any really fancy? No, no, definitely. Everyone joins in on it, uh, Jen. Um, it's only on my channel. Other people, um, other resellers don't seem to do live drinking, but I do. Um, I've missed loads here. Excellent, DBG. More than welcome to come on with us. Everyone would love to see you there. Um, oh, no, 4 p.m., but just the live listing. Okay, Peter. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Peter Ray's Adventures if you're not, folks. Um, that donation shop can be really good. It's also my donation shop. You can't be sourcing up my patch again, Mark, taking all my stuff. I ain't going sourcing again until um, I go sourcing with um, uh, Ali on Wednesday. Um, but, yeah, they, they've got a massive backlog in that shop at the minute that they're working through. Some of the stuff I picked up there was pat tested in February. I picked it up on Thursday. Um, so, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. Um, how would you get to increase your seller limits? Give eBay a call. Ask if they increase it. Uh, spending the evening with uh, Chris. Also, ah, yeah, early, early night. Yeah, we understand what that means. Yes, I saw the wallpaper in there, Mark, um, when I went there. And I, I did think about buying it because I use wallpaper as void fill. And they had some good Laura Ashley stuff and some good brands there. It was too good to use as void fill. But I've never actually managed to sell any wallpaper. Um, so I just thought I'll leave it. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I saw the stuff you you mentioned. It was in a like a wicker basket thing underneath. Um, so I went there yesterday and spent two quid i think or something and got loads of stuff um two quid seven quid seven quid sorry i spent yesterday um yeah the italian job la heist actual early night yeah whatever we believe you louise is often live on my channel jam um we are you're supposed to it's supposed to be texting me to arrange uh your next live appearance actually louise that's uh happened i've forgotten about that uh italian heist um xbox ah oh, what am i doing xbox we haven't even got to look this up yet i got too distracted with the chat um probably not worth a huge amount again because uh it wasn't that popular a film so i imagine the game is rubbish but sometimes you find these things tend to be quite rare uh what have we got uh, 497 i'd be happy if it's if it's gone for 499 there's only two sales one for 349 and one for 497 so have we got many listed let's have a look well somebody listed one for 20 quid there are a few listed, but they're not listed for huge money. 
Uh, they're not, yeah, there's a lot of it. There are quite a few listed. Not a huge amount, though. Yeah, I should be able to sell that internationally. So I'm going to put it on 4 Um, That costs 125 I'll go 4 on it. Uh, right. And anyone who is of my generation will remember next game. Cider. Sold Sanderson's and Vermeer before the lower two seconds. Yeah, they were seconds. That's why I rejected them. Um, but yeah, yeah, you've had exactly the stuff I saw yesterday then. Um, I just haven't forgotten some of the free evening. No worries. You want an £18 a roll? Jesus, you pay less than that in, in the, the shop. Busted. Yeah, no, I saw the wallpaper, but... Um, thank you for reminding everyone of that but um i've just i've had no luck selling wallpaper and it was too good it what as you saw it's too good to use as the price was right but it's too good to use as void fill um so i thought i'll leave it there have you not seen jen are you not in the money mental reselling facebook group hang on we need to drop a link here to the money mental reselling facebook group the greatest reselling facebook group in the world because everything i do is the greatest in the world as we know um let's drop a link here even even kfc is in it there you go i've dropped a link there for youtube rejected your comment i'm the friggin oh, i need to go on the hang on there we go no i can't do it i can't even drop a link to my own facebook group in youtube stupid youtube oh, i got rid of it yeah no create if you do create an account come join us on the group that i can't share um but it's on facebook money mental reselling group Catherine's done it have you um good i've got off with feet i bought 10 so bought them all yeah at that price just buy everything oh he will be fighting to have time with angie live who else has wanted to come i can't keep up uh i might join you live later to speak no worries lady you'd be more than welcome um to see if angie can get through the stream without hitting the deck again uh to do to do hey crazy cal how are you awesome name um it should allow links it must be having a fit today because um i dropped links in before like even yesterday and it was okay where is bcp when you need a link yeah but i don't know um anyway outrun two I remember playing this on arcade machines as a, a younger man. Um, so I'm hoping that there's lots of people who've got that nostalgia and I'll have money. This cost a pound as well. Um, let's have a look. There's the group. Oh, one person wants to join. I, I, I can't sort that out now. And I've got too many messages. Uh, um, eBay, you're on. get rid of you go to ebay uh, oh somebody's paid for something uh outrun two xbox oh that's that's it that's an interesting price on that game um sold listings that's no manual uh it's gone for seven quid but on bids uh they're brand new and sealed 50 quid so if you ever get across come across a copy of outrun 2006 coast to coast on xbox original that appears to be a bit of a bolo because that's a 50 quid game um or 45 pound game anyway 
so uh, yeah outrun 2 xbox someone's got 15.65 there 15 quid boom 14 pounds 60 yet again i have picked up a bolo um i am the greatest reseller ever outrun 2 xbox cost a pound will be listed for 14.99 in um media world that's a bolo um god what's going on on my phone all right, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay, fine. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Hey Seb, how are you? And let people know uh, that is the wrong group. Uh, uh MOT. Okay, listen to some. Yep, definitely. We do dry humour here in the UK. Um, hey Seb, Tony Hawk's on the ground on Xbox. One pound fifty I paid for that one in the half price sale. But like three quid originally, which is crazy for an Xbox game. Um, and I bet you it's probably worth a fiver at most. But underground, because it's like the clap. It's it's the classics edition as well it's not even the original version um but we'll have a look to see if this is worth some money uh the do never ignore the media folks sometimes it's worth money the yeah, underground 2 i knew would be worth more uh under an american wasteland yeah, this isn't gonna be worth much. Four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine. Okay. Fine. I'll get my money back. And I've already got some uh, decent stuff there. That's the end of the media. Back to the clothes, people. Who's excited to see more clothes? Um do no I, I very rarely bother checking comps or solds um i usually just go off instinct um or past experience uh some somebody answered that yeah okay um yeah uh, i'll list out run for 14.99 uh right which from a pound is excellent so then um i got some clothes i rather a lot of clothes um let's try and should we do the ladies clothes first yeah let's do the ladies clothes first because i'm clueless with ladies clothes so i picked up these mountain warehouse which is not the greatest brand ever but no worries peter catch you later um picked up these mountain extreme mountain warehouse um brand new with tags waterproof trousers ladies size 18 they were half price they were four pound fifty it says on the tag that they originally went for 69.99 now i don't know if anyone paid 70 quid for these or not and then never wore them um but i always work on the premise that if there's a price on a tag and you sell it on eBay, you're probably gonna you might get half that price. So I thought four pound fifty, I'll take a punt. Let's have a look. Mountain Warehouse Extreme. Uh, brand new with tags. Four pound fifty. I've put four fifty nine there, but it don't matter. Uh, let's have a look on the screen share. Large size is usually so well. Yeah, so size 18, is that a large size? I, I've no clue. Um, with the ladies' clothing at all. It's just, it was half price, and I went a little crazy. I was texting Louise saying, look what I've got. And then I bought even more stuff. Um, uh, Mountain Warehouse Extreme Trousers. Boom. What have we got? 
hit me you uh, oh 40 quid from mountain warehouse themselves um 25 quid plus bids there but that's a smaller size uh, 25 quid plus shipping smaller size on it with mountain warehouse themselves doing them for 39.99 um i'm thinking i'm going to aim for 34.99 on these i do not want to compete with mountain warehouse on price because i'll lose um but i mean i ask the same price as them i'm obviously competing with them on price by asking less money but i don't want to um yeah i'm probably not making sense i i, I don't want to um put a list on for the same amount i want to come on a uh, uh higher on the best match or close on the best match because they'll probably come top but if i go just below it if i'm just below on the best match and i'm five quid below somebody will buy mine instead that's the thinking hopefully that made sense so yeah four pound fifty thirty four ninety nine which is half the tag value i think that's that's fine um what have we got next have i still got the screen share on Yeah, I've got to go 34 99 with offers, I think, AJ. I'll check to see what sizes they have as well. We'll do, Thailand Heron. We'll do. Um, right. Then next, this is genuine um, because I can tell genuine Burberry at least. Uh, it's the genuine Burberry top, ladies' top, 46, whatever that means. Burberry London one pound in the half price sale um yeah nice burberry care labels and everything on it oh i mean um i don't know what it is. it's like a top basically a lady's top um it's burberry it costs a quid there's got to be money in it um ladies burberry top one pound to do it's one of those we have to feel it as well to feel the uh quality that is burberry red top and dbg's told me i don't need to get obsessed about finding the same thing um yeah, it's 15 quid plus shipping on bids there. It was the only red top. So they've got that one, which is 30 quid. That's a red and Nova check long sleeve. This is red and Nova check as well, actually. That's gone for 30 quid on bids. Uh, I, I don't know where to price it now. It suits me. Um, what the lady clothes sellers, what do you reckon for a genuine Burberry? Nova check red top. Do you reckon I'm optimistic? And go, I mean, that was 30 quid on bids. I'll just get the 46 of UK 14. Okay, you, you were telling me to not worry about too much about the research of the ladies' clothes about finding the exact item, just find something similar. In, in terms of size and price on that, I think we I think I think that was a conversation we had when I was stressing. Um yeah. Thirty nine ninety nine. Never found a Burberry out in the world. Definitely well. Yeah, definitely real. Um I wear Burberry stuff myself or have done. Um that I've got from TK Max. I'm assuming TK Max is genuine. So I use TK Max as my yardstick for what is genuine designer and i've got cheshire oaks down the road as well so i've also been i've been researching i probably shouldn't say well i, I don't know who wrong with saying this i've been researching some of the brands as well so i've been going down to cheshire oaks and looking in like the hugo boss the ralph Lauren, the burberry and whatever fed perry and whatever stores they've got there as well and having a look at some of their um clothing so uh so that i can familiarize myself with what what it looks like so it's helping me to identify what's genuine and what's not so now like i saw loads of fake stuff today in the charity shops loads there was fake lacoste 
Um, there were lots of fake Lacoste. There was fake Ralph the Rem. And it, on first look on a couple of them, it did look like um, TK Max and Brand Max, not always genuine. What? Good for now. Go to Cheshire Oaks as well then. I always listed by it now. Yes, I do. Um, so, yeah, I've started familiarising myself um, with what's, uh, you know, what's genuine and what isn't. Right, well, I'm knocking TK Max off the research list. That's a good thing I've been checking Cheshire Oaks as well. I mean, presumably the brand's own outlet store is genuine. Hi, George, how are you? Um, wouldn't even know about a price, but I'd say 39.99 isn't a bad call. All right, I'll give it a shot then. 39.99. Uh, so yeah, from a quid. Here they're taking Max and passed them off as other brands that they discounted. Well, I'm not sourcing in TK Max if they do that, then. Christ, it's hard enough for me as it is. They can actually sell fakes. How can they do that? Right, oh, I've got a dress. I've no idea if this is a decent brand or not, but. I'd heard of it before, so that was my premise. Winsmore, like dress thing, like a like a. It is a dress thing, isn't it? It's like a dress thing. It was two quid, and it's a size eighteen. So I thought for two quid and a size eighteen, why buy it now? Because um, I think when you you get better price, basically, I'll buy it now auctions um very rarely unless you very rarely go for most people on ebay buy stuff on buy it now um it changed a while ago um it used to be very popular for auctions now most of the stuff that sells on auction goes to other resellers winsmore is good sold a coat by winsmore for 35 quid the other day all the ladies brand that's probably my mum wearing it then is she a size 18 or a size 16 can't remember she might even want this but um yeah on the winsmore dress size 18 um so yeah you'll get a better price and buy it now most people use ebay to buy buy it now stuff they don't want to wait for an auction to end um yeah there's there's going to be lots of messages to lady clothing sellers jen you're gonna to have to be on my lady clothing seller list now to 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 help help me like you know do stuff like actually list clothes um it will sell excellent um so yeah winsmore 18 dress have a look well some some really good prices here um yeah um we could even go for 30 quid on it because most of this stuff has gone on bids I'll, I'll probably go for 29.99 on that dress i am the greatest clothing reseller ever see this is on bids this is all going on bids i wonder if anyone's actually put any on buy it now um there is some stuff that does well on bids i should say um if it's rare if it's if it's you know an expensive brand sometimes it can do well on bids but most of the time buy it now is better yeah so i'll buy it now we're looking 30 quid 25 quid yeah i'll probably list this for 29.99 maybe I, I don't know i've no idea you know tell me if i'm going wrong here walls more size 18 but you can i always say you know you you can't go up but you can go down so i oh, know we'll try 29.99 to do see you dbg take care that's what i oh, thank you jen i'm not trying to dress on uh so yeah i'm still clueless by the way when i'm picking up stuff I'm just going from what I've seen at Cheshire Oaks. 
what I've seen, me, me mum tends to like buy expensive clothes. What she gets, what I've seen on YouTube, that's it really. If they've got a stop shop in Chester, those are my main criteria. Uh, next, oh, it's another dress. Oh, oh, it's got the web Um, so next is our oh, French Connection. I, I'd heard of that brand, they got a store in Cheshire Oaks. This French Connection dress thing, like, feels like a sort of jumper thing, but it's a dress. Um, size is that I don't think it was a great size UK 10 um, it was £2.50 but it's in it looks like it's hardly ever been it's got like some I think those holes there in the back are supposed to be there because there's like they've got them at either end so I assumed that they're supposed to be there otherwise that would have panicked me Um. But yeah, I thought a French connection dress thing, two pound fifty. It's got to be worth at least fifteen quid, hasn't it? Surely, surely it's got to be worth something. Um, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. The chat's gone quiet. Uh. Oh, it's lagging. North Teesider, oh, okay. I thought you were by your uh, accent, Jen. Um, F, French Connection, dress, size 10. Oh, of course, there's going to be prices all over the place here, isn't there? Um, well, there's not any of this fancy stuff here. Do I'll just put used on? Well, there's all different styles of dresses as well, and then this is going to confuse me now. Um, I mean, there's some good money on these French Connection dresses by the looks of it. Oh, I need to put UK only because I'm getting half of Australia coming up now. UK only. Yeah, it certainly seems to be some good money in the French Connection dresses. Um, I'll put buy it now on as well, actually. I mean, if it's, I, I, I'm probably thinking it's about 20, I've got buy it now on. Um, it's probably like a 20 quid dress or something. Because these all look a bit fancier uh, than the one I've got. This is more like a, a day sort of thing. Uh, to do so, what else we got here? To do, yeah, they're all over the place, and I mean, that's quite a nice little thing for about 20 quid. I'll probably go for 19.99 on it, I think. Yeah, stuff it, we'll go 19.99 on it. Um, to do uh, a French connection dress. Two pound did I pay for that? Yeah, two pound nineteen ninety nine. We'll go for on that one. Awesome. Next, I picked this up because again they've got a store at Cheshire Oaks, or did have when I went there. Uh, a ladies' t-shirt, G Star Raw uh, t-shirt. Uh, I've got a pair of G Star jeans actually. Uh, this was one pound twenty five. Uh, so I figure for one pound twenty-five, I may as well have a go. Um, uh, G Star Raw Ladies T-shirt, one pound. So you should have seen me going through these ladies' clothes rails as well. I kept them. Um, I kept them um, getting people coming up to me when I was in the ladies' clothing, um, asking me for help in the shop. Oh, hey, Jason, how are you? Playing on the Xbox. 
good lad. G Star, good brand. That's good to hear, Adrian. I've got some G Star jeans, and they are actually probably amongst the best jeans I've ever had, actually, in terms of fit and comfort. Um, G Star Raw. Uh, what size is it? Um, oh, extra large as well. So XL ladies t shirt. No souls. Does that mean it's not? Oh, hang on. Let's just see if they listed. No listed. There's plenty in there. I brought... What am I doing wrong here? Do I just need to put G Star in? G Star. Have I got the uh, screen share on? No, I've not got the screen share on. Uh. Right, let's try again here. G Star T shirt, women's clothing. That's more like it. Don't know where I got the raw from. Ah, panicking then. So, listings, uh, we'll put Excel in. Uh, highest price it's only been nine sold recently um 14 pound for that's new 13 quid on bids there out of tenner i'll probably go yeah most of this is on bids i might go 13.99 on it then 13.99 and we'll see what happens um with best offer G string instead of G star. Behave. Right. Next. Well, this thing here. I don't, I don't even want to touch it. It feels like it's going to fall off. But um, again, a, a brand from Chester. All right. Let, let's see if I can try and get this one. Um. A Roman originals, ooh, like purple sequin top thing. Is it sequin size 14? Oh, but if anyone wants to buy any of this stuff, shoot me a message. Um, because you'll get it for a good price from me, believe me, because I've no clue what any of it is. This costs three quid. And everyone that I've sent a picture of it to has said they want it. So apparently it's like a good thing. Is it? A, I assume it's a top. Or it's a really very short dress. I've no idea. Um, at all. Hang on. Let, let's let's see if it'll go on me. Let's. I'm six foot four tall. So if this looks like it'll fit me. This dress. I think this is a dress. I'm going to have to ask Ali when she comes round. I think this is a dress. Does it... If it goes down... Yeah, it's, a, it's got to be a dress, hasn't it? If it's going down that far on me, this is a dress. Uh, so, Roman original sequin dress thing. Three quid. No idea. No idea at all. Beautiful. Not a dress in my size. Perfect plaque collection. Listed black purse, listed on eBay. Go with the last two dresses. Fair enough. Defo. Uh, sequin dress. Perfect for Christmas party or date. Matches my eyes. Yep, six foot four. I'm a big man. Um, Roman Originals. Having said that, as I understand it, the, the brand isn't always important with the ladies' clothing, but we'll, we'll go for sequin dress. Um, we'll fetch this on. 
Well, they've obviously gone for some good money new. Um, I assume that's new anyway. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to get what the hell. Oh, look at all these flipping item specifics we're going to have to fill in. Oh, my God. Christ. Right, used. Uh, 30 quid, 25 quid, sort of 25 quid. Uh, yeah, look, I think I'm thinking 24.99 probably be a good starting place for that. So, um, happy enough with that from three quid, 30 quid, 24.99. There we go. I promise though, that's it. That's it, Adrian. $24.99. 4 99 ka ching. Nice one. Um, roaming all over the place. Yeah. I think the the amount though of um interest that one had when I sent people pictures, I think that dress was one that will sell itself. So I'll put it on for $24.99. I'll take anything over to, of 20 quid or over for it. In fact, I'll take anything 15 quid or over for it, really, but uh, next, one uh, pound seventy-five for this. You can't complain about specifics if you are the greatest uh, clothing set reseller of all time. Even the greatest clothing reseller of all time can complain about things. Has anyone noticed eBay have removed the option to see the bidding history of people who are bidding against you? Um, no, I didn't know that. Um, I snipe anyway. So I wouldn't notice it, to be honest. Um, all my bidding's automated, so. My God, that's amazing. I'm live now. Bear with me. Right, so Roman Originals. Monsu, no, ah, oh, I can't even speak, and we're not even uh, anyway all the way into this hall yet. Uh, a monsoon, um, floral top, uh, one pound 75. It's only a size eight, but I think there's still a bit of money in that. It was the first thing I picked up off the ladies' um, thing racks. I'm off to. US with the other half. Hope to catch you on. Obviously not the US then. Oh, watch the film. No worries. Take care, Jem. Um, hopefully see you later. Um, right. Uh, what have we got next? Monsoon. Uh, eight. Top. Extensive research going here. Uh, those are all new. Twenty five quid there for a second hand one. Um, where's me uh, used condition? Well, popular brand has sold hundreds in size eight. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, I got there fifteen quid. Fifteen quid. I probably list it for fourteen ninety nine. Then I think. Boom. Monsoon size eight top. It's a nice pattern. Uh, one pound seventy five to fourteen ninety nine. I am loving the clothing. Right, next item. Oh, okay. Um, hey, carry on. I did, I'd forgotten you was watching us. Um, you've been very quiet. Any guest pan from your stream, whoever turns up, basically. I think there's a there's a few people who. Um, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Um, Forty-five pound for the Ted Baker dress. Good lord! Oh, we're nearly at the end of the ladies' clothing haul. Um, 
we have here another hang on let's make some space we have here another uh, roman originals top uh this is extra large uh one pound 25 this cost and i i liked these little 3d flowers that it's got on it i thought they were quite quite nice quite cute um it's obviously for an older lady i think but one pound 25 i thought why not why not i think it's a nice top because i think it's a nice top everyone's probably going to hate it um but let's have a look roman originals excel top uh no most have gone on bids um looking at the prices they've gone for on bids 7.99 plus postage etc uh i don't even know what the hell that is um i'm probably going to price it for 14.99 i think um i mean unless anyone thinks it should be more i think what did i say that cost is it one pound 25 or 175 i can't remember um i can't even find where i put it now um where the hell have i just put that good lord i'm losing it i'm actually losing it how can i not have that now well that that's gone somewhere um an unknown location i think it was one pound 75 anyway and i'm gonna go for 14.99 on that um so let's go on the chat 12 pounds of 15.99 reckons mr diggs yeah so 14.99 i think would be all right on that then next this was a fiver let's see if we can go over here oh this coat thing with the belt which i believe is quite fashionable nice double fronted button thing things going on apparently all right uh, a jager um i think it did it have a mark on it no i don't think it did i think i'm thinking of something else now this this is completely free uh jager coat thing with belt nice double buttons um cost of fiver um got to be money in that there's got to be money in a jaeger coat isn't there what size is it uh size 12 it's got to have some money in that it's a beautiful coat that is actually it's a really nice coat um really nice coat double breasted is that double breasted is that double breast trench coat cool um jaeger double breast trench coat cost of fiver i don't know what the total spend was yet jason i will try and get the calculator out in a bit um i've not this the, the paypal account's pretty pretty healthy at the minute so i wasn't um Yeah, clean so i wasn't um fussed about i didn't go out with a budget in mind or anything it wasn't an episode of sorting on the budget put it that way um right so jaeger can't even spell jaeger i'll have to look on the bloody thing they didn't even bat an eyelid um at the stuff i was buying in there as well fair dues they're obviously used to me being a complete they're just thinking oh here he is again panicking and buying whatever he sees yeah yeah um trench coat 12 we'll try shall we bloody hell oh that's new um used 29 
Bloody hell. Mind you, they are thicker ones. Have I got the screen share on? No, I haven't. Let's have the um, screen share on. Right. Do do. See, that's a bit like the one I've got there. And that's gone for about 25 quid on bids. Um, I'm going to do it and buy it now. Uh, do. I'm going to go for, I'm going to go because I think it's a beautiful coat. I'm going to go 34 99 Let's have a look here. This from Wrexham. Bloody hell. One of my local rivals has listed this. And that's got a mark to the sleeve. Um, which will probably come out when washed, apparently. Um, yeah, mine's unmarked. Local rival here, selling clothing. Um, let's have a look at the pictures. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm assuming that's just stock pictures there. Because if this is the lady who's selling it, I'm I'm shooting her a message. Oh, not good feedback there, my dear. Yeah, that's the same sort of coat I've got. And that's gone for 16 quid plus 9 quid shipping on bids with a mark on it. So I think I could go for 34.99. Quality of photos get you more money. Uh, yes, yes, uh, fully agree with that, Seb. So going 25.99 and 19.25. I, I, I really think that because it's such a beautiful coat, I'm going to... Oh, there is a little mark on it here. It might come off with the elbow grease, though. Um, I'm going to shoot for 34.99 on it. I'm just going to make a note. There's a mark on the back. Needs elbow grease. Um... But I'm going to shoot for 35 quid on that. Leave her alone. Look, I haven't got the screen set on, have I? But look, look at this. Uh, this, this, this must be a model wearing this. Yeah, that's a a shot from Thingy. And then you've got this, and I'm like, who is this lady here? But I think it's a model because these are the actual pictures of the coat, aren't they? But that's the same coat I've got. 16 quid on bids plus shipping. Um, what did we start it off at? Looks like you're still seeing the bid history there, um, man, can you sell it? Um, started off at a tenner, and there was um, obviously some interest there, a bit of a bidding more went on. Um, yeah, I'm going to shoot for 34.99, get the vanish out, quite right, quite right, Mr. Mr. Diggs. So we're for a fiver. I'm happy enough with that. And then next, the final item on the ladies' clothing front. No, it's not actually. There's another load of stuff. I've just spotted another bag. Um, Carvella shoes. Um, I assume that that's all right. Have I got to clean these soles or something? But nice little suede style sort of um, heels. Cost a fiver. Um, I mean, they look like nice shoes to me, so I thought I'd buy them for a fiver. And they had the original box. Black suede courts. And the, the RRP on them, they, they sold for 79 quid. So I figured for a fiver, they've got to be worth some money. There's got to be, it's got to be at least twenty quid in them anyway. No, I've not come across it. Well, obviously, I fucking first time I bought lady shoes. So, um, but let's have a look here. Um, Carvella. Um, Courts. See at that. Uh, right, where do I get the solds? Sold listings. 
770. Ooh, what's going on with my phone there? We've got some YouTube action going on. Um, right. Kurt Geiger. It's not Kurt Geiger, is it? Um, Carvella is the brand. And... I'm just trying to see if I can see the size. Size 39, I don't know what that means. Uh, shoe size 39. Oh, that's terrific. Shoe size 39. UK 6. Or 6.5. So 6 or 6.5. So that's a reasonable size, isn't it? Hey Chris, uh, yes, I have got high heels, ankle strap, close pointed toe, courts, Cavella, shoes, and we think they're a six and a half. Well, let's have, let's have a look what's on the, uh, I'll put 6.5 in. I see there's some there gone for 35 quid. Suede, that's the same shoes as I've got in a different colour. Mine are black and they've gone for 35 quid. And have they got the box with them? Oh, no, 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 don't press the wrong button. So is Carvella and Kate Geiger the same person? They're not quite the same shoes as I got, but the same box. They're pretty similar, and they've gone for 35 quid. They're a 40. I'm a 39. That answers my question. This is a size 6. UK Cavella Coat 6. There's a brand new. Now let's just get used on. Uh, 30 quid, 33 quid, 25. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, 34 99. That's true, I've got a clutch bag. I reckon, I think you're right, Adrian. I'll go 34 99 on those and, and see what happens. It's not quite half the RRP, but I think that's got to be worth a try, isn't it? 39, size 6. I think I've done all right so far on those ladies' clothing, really. I think I've not done too badly there. Um, right. Next bag. I've only got about four more bags to go. Jesus Christ. I, think I might have to do this in two parts. Um, next, we have got... Ah, uh, men's clothing now. Um, familiar ground now for me. Um, Banana Republic jumper. Now, the only reason I picked this up, because they're, I don't, Banana Republic, expensive new, doesn't seem to do too well used. But this is silk linen. So I thought, uh, nice material. Cost me £2.25. It's got to have some... Uh, money in it um so what is that that's um banana republic jumper two pound 25 it's got me worth money in it it's gotta be um let's have a look banana republic jumper men's Silk. Boom. Be worth a million. It's not worth a million. 15 quid. Yeah. 14.99. Oh, 10.95 there. Tenner. I'm going to go 14.99 on it. It's not worth as much as I thought it would be, but 
it's not bad it's not bad uh, right get bring back the bring bring back the internet goodness me it's not coming ebay looking into shuttle possibly charge me 180 quid unbelievable it, the ebay doing well at overcharging people late yeah unfortunately not 29.99 but 14.99 i think we'll go for on that one happy enough um i picked this up because it's like denim denim shirts i think do quite well and it was one pound fifty it's a jack jones and jack and jones don't tend to sell for a huge amount anymore but it's a jack and jones denim shirt one pound fifty uh once tried always used apparently um it says vintage jack and jones vintage um so it might be a more expensive jack and jones range but it's a nice denim shirt for one pound fifty from a from a recognized brand it's got to be it's bid specific to sell i can't click on the other bidder's profile to see the bidder says percentage wise has bid on the seller's items before eg bidding up i didn't i I honestly didn't know you could do that anyway, to be honest. Um, so I've no clue. Well, you're at 9.99 on the Jack and Jones, do you? I'm hoping it's going to be worth at least 12.99, but we'll have a quick look. Jack Jones denim shirt. Boom. Uh. Well, they're certainly not cheap new uh, used here we go 18.99 quid uh vintage denim which is what i've got but that's checked um 9.99 plus shipping uh yeah i'm thinking probably 14.99 on this i think a really nice shirt so yeah from one pound fifty uh i've spelt denim without actually putting in most of the letters uh denim shirt one pound fifty we'll go 14.99 on that boom let's see what i got next next i don't know if this is worth anything um but i think it will fit me so i'm not too fussed if it isn't but i've i think it was 50 trooper matt who i've not heard from a while actually um i don't think anyone's heard from him for a while has told me uniculo is a decent brand so this is a, a plain white t-shirt but it's from this uniculo company cost one pound 75 um uh, it's in my size so if it doesn't uh have any value to it i've got a new t-shirt so i wasn't too fast um but yeah 1999 you reckon i don't know um just to play my t-shirt it's nothing special but it's a decent well i, I believe it's a decent brand um, but we'll have a look um uni q low uh, t-shirt men's clothing probably should have put white in shouldn't i we've got the screen share on yes we have definitely should have put white in uni clow white t-shirt uh i'm gonna have to put used on 21 used oh no it's all snoopy stuff yeah that's that's like what i've got tenner plus bid plus shipping on bids um it's so, okay so it's probably got some money in it most of this stuff has gone in bit well two there in size small um that's like what i've got it's gone for seven pound fifty 
So I might go for twelve ninety nine on it. Uh, that's just a normal t-shirt in size medium, isn't it? It's gone for thirteen ninety five. Oh. I might put it on for thirteen ninety nine. See how it does. See how it does at thirteen ninety nine. Anything over a tenner, I'm happy. Job done on that one. Kilo said yes. Um, that came up uh, on my thing. I look forward to watching that. People won't be able to watch it later because later we'll be drinking with Andrew. Uh, but between when I finish this and before drinking with Andrew comes on, watch Cooking the Hayden's video. There's the details there. Uh, right, we're 55 people watching. Not bad. Uh, next is a shirt. I think it's Ralph Lauren, this one. Yeah, Ralph Lauren custom fit shirt, um, which means that it's not for fat people like me. Um, what size is it? Uh, in large. Nice little Ralph Lauren shirt there. Uh, that cost me £2.25. It's going to be worth 15 to 20 probably. Um, nice vertical stripes. I know we male clothing terminology. Um, 225. What time later? Um, I've got to finish this stream, make dinner, and then come back on. So, how uh, well long that takes? Uh, Ralph Lauren shirt. Large. Men's clothing. There'll be. There's probably not even any point looking this up because there'll be so many. Yeah, nine thousand listings sold. Um, there's not even. I, I'll research that myself later, but we'll say nineteen ninety nine for now. Research further. Yes, don't forget to. Are you watching Wales play tomorrow morning in rugby? Uh, probably not, um, to be honest. Um, I don't really follow rugby uh, that much. Hi, Michael. How are you? I've seen you for a while, actually, Michael. Um, to do. So, yeah, there was that. Oh. This is going to be another one where I'm going to have to stand up. I should be able to model this one. This I paid a tenner for. In fact, if it fits me, which it will. It could be an ideal new coat for me. Ah, oh, this is warm. That's too big for me. So it's a big coat. But this is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous coat. Um, yeah, this is lovely. It's um, cashmere. Um, wool and cashmere coat. Um, and it's it's just lovely. 50 inch chest. So it's bloody massive. Uh, if something makes me look, looks massive on me, then believe me, it's huge. So yeah, 50 inch chest. Wool and cashmere coat, Costa Tenor, Brook Taverner. It's got me money in this. It's just a quality, quality item. Uh, one which I admired in there before the half price sale was on when it was at 20 quid. And I was tempted then. So when it was a tenner, it was mine. And if it was in my size, it wouldn't be going anywhere. Chat got mental last night. Yeah, normally does. Um, let's have a look. No flashing. Um, no flashing. Uh, Brook Tavana. Uh, cashmere. Coat. Yeah, look at that 80 quid 
and it's not even in uh, my size the one i've got is a lot more so 80 quid plus shipping there for the same sort of thing i knew there'd be money in that coat knew it that's the same coat in a smaller size mine's absolutely massive so i'm tempted to go um for even more to be honest and i've got more cashmere in mine as well mine's 20 percent cashmere um so i don't know how you feel folks but i reckon i should probably go for 89.99 i think see how we get on yeah i thought i'd go for 89.99 on it and see how we get on just purely because it's such a gorgeous coat and it being a 50 inch as well there's not going to be a lot of coats that are going to rival that one and you know new 250 300 quid maybe maybe more 350 who knows so i think 89.99 on that um and we'll see how we get on 89 99 99 99 99 yeah i think for 89 99 is a fair price for a hopefully reasonably quick sale given that we're about to hit the winter um and then because it's me carol vorderman sudoku dvd game because i love carol vorderman uh brand new and sealed uh one pound fifty i think i paid for this I think the labels fell off oh uh, yeah one pound fifty probably going to be worthless but i ain't leaving cattle behind uh i think we're leaving cattle behind so we'll have a look carol vorderman's sudoku come to my channel because you know you'll go from a 90 pound coat to a sudoku dvd game Yeah, this is going to be worthless. Um, well, not worthless, but it's not really worth a huge amount. Look, there's not even any. Right, come on, Terapeak. Come to my rescue. Tell me there's been some souls on here, Terapeak. So there has been some souls. And I clicked the button again because, you know, I'm an idiot. Uh, 475 with free postage 399 free postage eight pound seven with free postage that is not good 795 it actually sold for not eight pound seven therapy isn't always accurate for some reason it's always a little bit out uh oh that's not even the same thing that's a board game and a dvd game i will stuff it i'll whack it on for 9.99 get me money back and maybe make a pound or two nothing else i can keep it and play it myself what's a bit of carol uh to do it goes from a bolo to a thing uh i do like riley 120 reckon had a cross from carol v dimensions uh bless you very good marshall right that's that bag uh, then next i've got these dormer country diary curtains um i paid they were they're up for 25 pounds they're new and sealed i paid 12 pound 50 for them it's half price the original asking price was 65 quid but that label uh, price label on there if i can manipulate this right that looks like a vintage price label so i think this is a vintage pair of curtains that are still new and sealed so there could be some decent money in this and for another fiver uh, no in fact for another two pound fifty they had the matching um 
tie backs, which I thought was a really good feature to have. So I've got the tie backs and the curtains. Um, so I spent yeah 15 quid on getting both of those, but I I reckon there's potentially some profit in that. Um, we'll have a look. She's not that good on numbers. She still tries to fit a size 16 body into a size 12 dress. I'd have her body any time to shoot, to be honest. Um, Dorma Country Diary Collection Curtains. Here we go. Uh well, second hand, they've gone for 18 quid. Whoa. Oh, that's, a, that's not including that. So I was right, and those have gone for 40 quid. Um, that's the curtains without the tie backs. See, look, 35, 38 quid, says they're brand new, but they're not. I'm right about them being vintage as well. Um. Yeah, sort of 30 odd quid. So let's have a look here. Let's have a think. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go 44.99 on that. I think uh, I think that's a reasonable price. Well, I've got the tie backs as well. So I'm going to go 49.99. Oh, 49.99. Because I think the tie backs will add a little bit of value I'll just have a look for the tie backs to see what they're worth separately um i'll just check i've got the um yeah i have yet uh i might need to put tie backs separately yeah so there's nothing uh showing for tie backs so i'll bundle those together for 50 quid which from 15 i'm happy enough with I think that's a decent return there. Right. We'll come off the clothing for a minute. We'll show you some of the non-clothing stuff that I picked up there. Because there's still more in the hole. Though my good mate sold us before. Fair dues, Mark. Yeah, 49.99. To do... Oh, they're all distracted. Right, so next, I've got two of these. Um, the box is a bit knackered, but they're new inside. Um, Alessi, which is it's an okay brand, um, as in it's the sort of thing that you see in you know CK Max in the homeware department there. So it's reasonably priced brand uh alessi mammy um tumblers i've got these and another box cost a quid each um the box has got a bit of it's been opened so i'm not gonna say that these are sort of brand new um but there's two of them um so i'll bundle the sets together probably um possibly not depends how much they're worth um alessi Mammy tumblers. Just get the screen shared on. Put those into the I think they're a pound each. I can use them myself if they're not worth anything, but I'm pretty sure that these are. And I've spelt that wrong, haven't I? Um I have let's see Mammy tumblers. So that's United States. So new. See there, they say they're new, but out of the box. Uh, new at a um, eight pound fifty on bids. I would probably put mine as new at a. And looking at those, gone for about seventeen eighty nine or more. I'll probably put them on for. Oh, I don't know, fifteen ninety nine free shipping. As new with this, so I'll definitely do the two separately. Um, so fifteen ninety nine from a pound. 
can't go wrong. Uh, so a brand to look out for there, folks. Get on the Aldi gut rot. I will do in a bit. Um, so yeah, I got those. Um, and then I got, I don't know, this would be your kind of thing, Stu, to be honest. Um, Royal Dalton. Nisbet. Nisbet. Um, it's cost me a tenner. It's this porcelain doll. It's got this, um, it's from the Kate Greenaway second series, whatever that means. Um, wasn't that um, the Princess of Cornwall before she got married? Um, so, yeah, it's in, it's, it doesn't look like it's been out of the box, just been on sort of display sort of thing. Cost a tenner. But they were originally asking 20 quid for it before it was half price. So I thought, I'll take a punt for a tenner. I'll take a punt. So let's have a look. Let's see if that's worth anything. Uh, Royal Dalton. Kate. Greenaway. Um, I might need to put a figure or doll, possibly. Well, that's gone. Well, those are all in America. Um, I mean, we're looking at 22 quid there. unboxed they're going for about 15 so but it seems there's a good market in america for them so i might put it on for 30 quid with international shipping on top let's just have a look again because i'm not seeing the one i've got i will do further research on that we'll say 29.99 now for now um because i really do think that will go overseas um So it might go on for a bit more uh, once I've researched it properly. 20 to 25 quid, yeah. Yeah, I think 29.99 with me. Own, I do my own international shipping. So um, I suspect I used to get Leonardo dolls for a quid or two and send them abroad for 15 quid plus shipping. And that's a bit nicer. So I suspect I'll probably um, do all right on it. Um, but yeah, needs further research. But I definitely think that's going to go abroad. A lot of lot of the stuff that I do uh, of that nature goes abroad. Um, right, and then finally, in uh, that charity shop, nearly at the end of the hall. Oh! They had um, like um, one of their bins was full of brand new Daymart tank tops, ladies' tank tops, uh, in size XXL, which is a good size. They were asking 50p each, but with the half price sale on, they're 25p. So I've got, i show you here, a fuckload of them, basically. Um, yeah, I don't even know how many I've got. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, there's more clothing in there. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Actually, I'll take them out. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty five each, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, oh, that's only an XL, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, that one's opened. Um, I'll reseal that. That's a sample one. 24. 25. And then a peer card in jacket, which we'll come back to. 25. They mark top tank tops. One of which is opened. The other all still new in their original shopping. They um there's a corporate um they're a corporate client so um it'll be oversupply from Daymart that they've donated to um shelter. Um because there's always Daymart stuff going going there for peanuts. Um so I say twenty four new Daymart tank tops one opened <coughs> Daymar tank top uh, 25 peach and I just thought there's got to be money in it for 25 peach surely probably go large letter as well so surely there's going to be some yeah a lot surely there's going to be some money in that so let's have a look Good big big sizes as well, and if nothing else, I can sell them. I can knock them out with the car boot. Um, when it's actually on, they are tank top. Let's have a look. Uh, see, there you go, eight quid. Um, brand new. So yeah, I'll, I'll I'll bang them on for seven ninety nine. I think I'll be more than happy with that price uh, for the amount that I paid. Uh, one multi quantity, well, a couple of multi quantity listings because I've got diff different sizes and nice little bit of bread and butter there, hopefully for me. Um, so yeah, really pleased with that. Um, the used one, that's not well. The the open one, I'll put on for for a pound less. See how we get on with that. But yeah. Um, and I got this. It was two quid, so I thought I'll get it. Pierre Cardin, which isn't a great brand anymore, but a Pierre Cardin um, blazer. Uh, it's a wool blazer. It's got all like it, nice little Pierre Cardin writing and everything in it. So, um, for two quid i thought why not it's a decent size as well um i can't remember what size it is now but pierre cardin classic collection blazer from two quid it's got to be worth at least 15 surely we'll have a look oh i can't type collection blazer enter uh, I want souls not promising at that those prices there and that's wool and cashmere and it's only gone for seven six pound fifty so uh, yeah maybe if I just put peer card in blazer in um, let's see what comes up Uh, to do go on souls yeah there's a few more there isn't there? used it's not anything fancy like that go down a bit 17 quid 15 quid yeah 
13.99 yeah it's about what about 14.99 about what i expected um so again fine with that from two quid job done uh right so that was a pin and a half price sale um we've got one more bag one more bag yeah we've got one more bag of stuff and then i'm going to make some food and uh come back for a drink with andrew later because i've been broadcasting for over two and a half hours um so yeah next item uh another charity shop i'll rush to just before it shuts paid three pounds henry lloyd size medium nice check shirt uh casual fit yeah size medium casual fit genuine henry lloyd as confirmed by my research at the henry lloyd store in chester oaks um and it's got henry lloyd written on the buttons and all sorts going on so it's a nice little shirt it's john Bo stella uh cider my dad likes the italian styling does it come hitman sunglasses good point then i um henry lloyd casual shirt let's have a look henry lloyd shirt check shirt medium boom get the screen share on uh that's a short sleeve one uh, probably about 14.99 maybe 15.99 i mean pre-owned that's 17.99 plus shipping that's a short sleeve one that's gone for 15.99 plus postage so i'm, I'm going to list it for 15.99 free postage i think so i'm happy enough with that uh next um hi eva how are you we're nearly at the end of a mega stream of clothing uh next i pay two quid uh the, again mountain warehouse extreme um waterproof trouser things i got them because they were oh i paid I paid three quid for him i thought i paid two quid i paid three quid for him um which is more than I thought they were. I've misread the label. It says code two and price three pounds. So I pay three pounds for them. Um, but I'm hoping there's a bit of money in them. We'll have a look. Is it still possible to merge two accounts into one or is that not a thing anymore? No idea, Ron. I've never tried it, to be honest, mate. I've not a clue. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, Matt Warehouse Extreme. These are men's. I'll just put a 32 in and see what comes up. Um, yeah, 12.95. That's all right. Um, I have a feeling I might be able to go slightly more because they're about 60 or 60 quid new. Um, I'll just have a look to see what um they've sold for in different sizes um sold listings yeah i mean they're asking 40 quid for them uh 22 15 plus bids yeah i think i'm going to shoot for i mean they're all i mean somebody sold them there for 7.99 plus post it that's crazy money there for a tenner brand new we'll go uh 14.99 on those happy enough from three quid 49.99 best offer right this i'm not sure if it's going to have much value i don't know um it's a Jaeger shirt in my size, though, so I thought I'd go for it. 
it's short sleeved and, and we're getting towards the end of summer but it's a really nice jaeger xl X, it is xl isn't it yeah yeah xl shirt and it was three quid so i thought it'll fit me if uh, it doesn't sell because it's in you know really good condition uh, but we'll have a look eager short sleeve shirt xl eager so short shirt oh, i've spot yeah you're wrong again haven't i Okay. Seems like those linen. Uh, fifteen quid, maybe. Yeah, I think maybe we go for fifteen ninety nine on that. That's for three quid. All right. Actually, sure. Three quid to fifteen ninety nine. We we'll go for on that one. Boom, nice one. Get the screen share off. Hi, Bex. Welcome, Tommy. Thank you for trolling me. Um, what have I got here, Bex? You've missed most of the clothing. What have I got here? Oh yeah, right. Disney's Disneyland Paris. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, official Disneyland Paris, Pirates of the Caribbean t shirt. Mm -hmm. It was two quid, so I figured it's got to be, uh, it's got to be worth something. Uh, sorry to hear that, Bex. What's going on? Tell us all about it. Disneyland Paris, Pirates of the Caribbean t shirt. I know the mini millionaire always picks up that stuff, so I figured for two quid I'll give it a try. And I'm sure I looked it up in the shop actually. Um, Disneyland Paris Pirates t shirt. To do. Yeah, it's gone £11.90 on bids. The only one I could find, but I'll put it on for. $12.99 and I might even not put it on for eBay I might put it on um, Facebook um, for $12.99 in the Disney groups because they go mad for stuff like that and in fact I might even put it on for $13.99 in Disney groups hey Ronnie how are you that's got flea oh bless you uh two more two more items and then the mega clothing haul it's taken nearly three hours to go through as at an end i have tags with them uh it's a charity it's thrift store stuff i have tags for some stuff um pair of calvin klein car keys um cost three quid they're tiny tiny car keys i don't know if that's tiny legs or if they're cut offs um but they cost three quid so i thought for calvin klein i'd give it a try um so let's have a look on the screen share calvin klein car keys Sorry, folks, I pressed the wrong button then. I nearly ended the stream. I'm back. I'm back. Right, okay. So, Kelvin Klein car keys. Uh, 
I don't know what they're worth. They are, but they're a bit like those that have gone for eleven something quid. Thirty ninety five. There they're asking for. Uh, shall I go thirteen ninety nine then? We'll go thirteen ninety nine on those. Not as much as I thought they'd be, but a little bit of profit from three quid. So I'm happy enough with that. And they might. No, they won't. I was going to say they might go live later, but I don't think they will. Well, then, the final item on the Mega Hall. And I wasn't on the screen share for that, was I? Hang on, I'll just share screen. Laney's back. Yep, still live. We're talking about Bex's um, uh, flea problems at the moment. Um, yeah, those are Calvin Klein car keys. I mean, They've gone for 1795, but they're bigger leg length, bigger waist there. That's about the size I've got, 1395. So I'm going to go for 1399. And then some on bids have gone for a few quid as well. So I'm all right with that. Right. Final item. Again, three quid. Um pair of small Paul Smith jeans. Uh, trousers. Hi Grant, how are you? Spot some decent racking, maybe useful for. Send me a message. Uh, send me a link to it on um, Facebook, uh, John. Send me a link. Uh, a pair of small Paul Smith uh, jeans, car keys, things. Um, they were three quid. Um, decent uh, brand, Paul Smith. The genuine article. Um, so I figured for three quid, they'll be, they've got to be worth something. They look like they've hardly ever been worn as well. So let's have a look on this final item. Paul Smith jeans. We put car, oh, not nail car keys. Oh, bloody loads, isn't there? Bloody loads. Uh, 34 I'll put in. Still bloody loads. Um, used. And we'll go buy it now. Postmith jeans obviously seem to have some decent money in them, by the way, folks. Um, looking at some of these solds here. So well worth uh, looking out for. Uh, I'm going to sort by lowest price because um, these aren't denim jeans. These are more like car keys. Um, so they're like those that have gone for 13 quid. Um, 15 quid there. Uh, yeah, 14.99 there for the sort of chino style ones. Um so probably we're going to go for about 14.99 on those those are cords cords yeah i think we'll, yep yeah, cords yeah i think we'll offer 14.99 on those so not epic profit but profit nonetheless nonetheless chino car chino jeans three pound we'll go 14.99 and that's the end of the haul, thank God. Um, I can give you approximate value and what I've spent. High near, yeah, nearly at an end. Beige chinos, yeah. I've given up, to be honest. I've shattered Thailand, Helen. Um, right, what was I going to do? I'm going to add that one a spreadsheet. So, we have spent roughly... Um, roughly 160 quid which is a lot and listed value is which is obviously not the same as profit or anything like that I have to include shipping oh my god listed value um, is about a thousand pounds so yeah I think I've done alright for myself really um after taking away costs shipping the fact that i'll do 
take best offers on things, eBay fees, everything else. I'm probably still looking at about, I don't know, four or five hundred quid's worth of profit. So, um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I'm happy with that. I help you with Laura Ashley Cardigan. Um, I could not find anything similar. I know the label of the, late, the green label is vintage. I'd be useless with it if it's vintage. Um, I don't know, 20 quid? Maybe, from what I saw, but yeah. Sent a friend request. No worries, cheers. Um, I'll, I'll accept that afterwards. Um, so yeah. Yeah, very, about grand's worth of listed value there. About 100 and well, including those tops, about 170 quid roughly spent. So, um, boom. I am big time now. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I'm kind of, I'm, I, I don't look at it, but I'm kind of blown away by that listed value. Um, obviously, um, as I say, um, I will take offers on things, stuff will drop in prices, etc. Hey, Texas Brenda. Um, but yeah, there should still be a few hundred quid's worth of profit in there. And that was only from a couple of hours sourcing. So it just goes to show what you can get when you go out there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go and make my dinner. Um, it's 20 past nine. I'll be back after dinner for drinking with Andrew. Um, so yeah, take care, folks. See you all in a bit. Bye for now.